Hey guys, Gemini Jet76 here, and welcome back to another video. Today we are coming back with another unboxing. Now, this is once again from the Wings Over Camarillo Air Show, which happened today. Um, this is my ninth consecutive year going to that air show besides 2020 when it got canceled because of COVID, unfortunately. Um, this year it had some pretty interesting aircraft. Um, I'll kind of talk to you about it a little bit later. Um, but it had some pretty interesting aircraft. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'll talk to you about it a little bit later in the video. But once again, we have a, another um, unboxing. If you guys have been uh, with me, I did one of these videos about a year ago and got two aircraft. We got the F4F Wildcat and the F6F Hellcat. So those are two models we got last year. This year, we got another new model. So I'm really excited. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Um, I got two new planes coming in tomorrow so i'm um, very excited about that and or sorry not two four new planes coming in tomorrow very excited about that anyway let's just get started i actually move all this stuff off to the side and Today we have the Bristol Bowfighter. Now this was a um, kind of a ground attack slash torpedo aircraft, I want to say, used by Britain in World War II. Um, very nice looking aircraft. We actually have, um, you guys can see, kind of makes it look like the propellers are turning. It's how they designed it. We'll get into um, specs here in a second. But, um, little background on the plane. As far as I know about it, um, it is a British ground attack roll aircraft with, um, cannons, a couple machine guns, and can carry bombs or even torpedoes on it. Um, it was a, this was a, um, I'm thinking of the mosquito, sorry. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure this was a wooden aircraft, kind of like the, um, kind of like the Mosquito. But, uh, they do a very good job detailing these, um, aircraft. So, let's just kind of get starting into the detail. So, here in the front, you can see, got the, uh, two spinning propellers. Over on the left side, we have four. These are, I'm pretty sure, the machine gun, 7.7 millimeter. Um, it's kind of what the, uh, Brits used. And over here on the right side of the aircraft, we have two and a camera. Got some lights on the side. Got the cockpit, antenna on the top. You look here on the bottom, we have uh, two landing gear that don't roll. You got the landing gear compartment. The landing gear did not go back, if you were wondering that. You got two bombs. Looks like 500-pound bombs. Let's say you kind of got these um, little slashes for where the guns would be. Four on this side, two on this side. The British logo. Um, this is a tail drag aircraft, so you got the tail dragger wheel. Um, back up to the top, you got like this um, nice camo. You got the British logo. Um, back here, where this window is, uh, you have a tail gunner. Um... Right here, you got, looks to be some sort of flag. Um, looks like a registr or registration is here. Mike, Mike, 256. Um, uh, you got something here. You got the British um, flag once again. But um, very nice looking aircraft overall. Um, there was some really, really nice looking aircraft um, that they had. They have a um, lot of World War II aircraft and some modern day aircraft. Um, most of the modern day aircraft are fortunately um, kind of like hanging displays, and that's not something I want at the moment. They did have a lot of nice looking aircraft. Um, I was kind of deciding between a Spitfire, this, and a SBD. I chose this because it wasn't relatively too expensive. This model was $35.00. Wasn't too expensive. The Spitfire was 45 and the 
um spd was 28 and i wanted to get something that was relatively decent sized so um yeah this is kind of the model i got um but now let's kind of talk a little bit about the air show and just some stuff about the channel um the if you guys do not know there's a really cool air show they bring out a bunch of uh world war ii aircraft this year in terms of flying aircraft they had one um one two three four five six i'm pretty sure seven flying world war ii aircraft and those are like fighters dash bombers they had two uh different types of trainers um and then they bring a whole bunch of stuff this year they um something new they added on um they have a bunch of um uh aircraft in the air and on the ground i'll talk to you about on the on ground stuff first we had um a so there's two sections um one out uh kind of where most a majority of the people sit that's usually where they keep most of the general aviation aircraft but they clear them all out for the air show but there they had a, a um a bunch of bunch of trainers actually um they also had some sorry about the camera guys they also had some so, so they had some trainers they had a um c-17 from march air force base come out they had a c-130j hercules the turboprop one um from um the catalina island um let's see here they had a c-47 which they do um they, they have it on static display but then they do uh they kind of bring it out do a bunch of stuff with that have multiple parachuting events i think they have three throughout the whole day they do have a um little helicopter booth over there you can take a helicopter ride it's usually around a 15 minute ride kind of just around the area um over on that side you kind of have um some food vendors a bathroom area and then um they have a car show around halfway through the air show uh, a bunch of old vintage cars or nice like luxurious uh sports cars mm -hmm kind of going through so they usually have those parts on that side and then if you kind of go over to the other side the walkway it's where you have all the vendors selling like all the um, aircraft or anything else like that and then you head over to the other side there's a bunch of cool stuff they have like a little army encampment which uh there's a couple like army tents some um rifles that don't work but they look really nice and they have a um non-working mortar um they have the um c i want to say it's a c37 another um another parachute dropper that you can do tours in for a dollar um they have some more trainers over there they have a um a and this is kind of over by the aviation museum um they have a russian some sort of russian aircraft looks like a a la i want to say an la7 they have a Spitfire, which was supposed to fly this year, but it didn't. Do not know why that happened. Um, they got a Spitfire. They have, um, usually they park all the World War II aircraft down there. Um, they had, they have a really nice, um, STEM pavilion with, um, drones, robotics, um, Air Force, like, stuff if you want to talk about, like, if you're interested in going to the Air Force. Um, they have some flight simulators over there, so really, uh, really nice little setup, kid-friendly, anywhere from ages of, like, two all the way to adults, um, kind of really cool stuff. They also park, usually the, um, usually they'll have, like, a, the PBJ or the naval version of the B-25 on display over there. You can kind of look in the, um... Bombay or speaking of the um the C uh 17 um you can actually go inside you can't go in the cockpit but you can with the C130 you can go inside you can go in the cockpit um you guys will see a video cuz I will be doing kind of like a vlog of kind of like just a tour around the airport before the actual air show started so expect to see that coming out within the next let's say half a week but um it's just a really really cool air show they had um two f-18s on display but they actually had to 
leave about three quarters of the way through the through the air show because they had to go back to base so that was a real big hassle because we had to move and like once it got out it was a hassle to get our seats back to on the front row but um so that was probably that was probably the worst thing about it but it wasn't a huge deal um uh, there is a mig 17 there that they do fly around unfortunately i was not able to get a video of that i was getting food at the time and the lines were kind of just ridiculous i had to go to multiple food uh vendors because they were out of what i was looking for so it took a while to get food unfortunately right when we got back to our seats the mig was landing so i wasn't able to get really any videos of that and i wasn't really able to get any videos of the red bull helicopter because they were bringing the f-18 right through our area and we we're just busy trying to get our seats back we weren't able to i only got two videos of that and no videos in the mig um so i'm really sorry about that i did get a, uh, a couple videos of the f-18 because they kind of taxied right by us and then one of them did a flyby before they headed north so um it's kind of basically all i saw they did uh they do a lot of acrobatic stuff bring a lot about uh acrobatic um acrobatic planes trainers um it's a major. it's probably about 60 percent of the air show but i'm um, still a really really cool air show um so if you guys have ever thought about going to it uh please do it's really nice um it's not terribly wrong uh long it, the actual air show itself goes from about 12 to 4 4 30 but you can enter at 9 go check everything out but anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. We are on the road to 275 subscribers. We are just four away. It would really help me out. And anyways, I will see you all in the next video.